Hey, welcome to another session of the video blog from Into the Stands. My name is Dakshin. I am Dhananjay. And that's Ayn Man. Hey, man. <laughs> so, moving on, uh, what's uh, what's special today, Dhananjay? Like we always start with something special. What's special today? Uh, history again. Uh, today is the day when we when India played the first test match way back in 1932. Interesting. Also the day 30 years ago when India won the World Cup. World Cup, Kapil Dev at yeah. uh, Lodz and uh, England, yes. And of course, India winning uh, the Champions Trophy against England. Yes. What do you think, uh, what what was the scenario, what was the atmosphere? Uh, I don't think then? so, it said the tournament happened in England. You know, <laughs> it, it, it was somewhere in India. You know, no support, I have, I have never seen such an atmosphere anywhere. True. Where the home team was booed. Absolutely, but do you know uh, why? Uh, uh, wh- wh- what made India actually win? They played better cricket. No, it's not because they played better cricket. It's all because of Ishan Sharma and only one reason. You know what? <laughs> Eon Morgan uh-huh. went up to Ishan Sharma and he said, "Tum engine log hamare jute ke niche hi rahoge." Aaj bhi tumhe hara ke ham teen gunal gan usul karega. <laughs> and you think Ishan Sharma understood what he said? I probably think he didn't. Ravi <laughs> Bopara <laughs> must have translated it. That's sure. But you know what? What should the England team do henceforth to win matches against what, India at home? What do they need to do? They should change their names, man. <laughs> Alistair Cook should be Alistair Patel. <laughs> so, Indian surnames, for, that's the best way to win. Completely. <laughs> No, Ian Shah. His father owns a Farsan shop in South Africa. <laughs> Done, man. Set. All matches, they'll have good support. They'll win. Not to forget, Tim Batana. <laughs> okay, so moving sorry. on. We need to, right? Yeah. Also, in the other news, we got uh, Australian coach uh, has been sat. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, into the stands, uh-huh. you manage something very exciting for all you guys. We have... Arnab Kamswami interviewing Mickey Arthur. Here's it. Welcome to News Minute. My name is Arnab Kamswami and I'm joined by ex Australian coach Mr. Mickey Arthur. So, Mr. Mickey Arthur, the whole of India wants to know why have you been removed by Team Australia? Arnab, I have resigned. They have not sacked me and I am really sorry for the loss of Australia's team in this Champions Trophy. No, 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 Mr. Mickey Arthur, the whole of Australia wants to know, why has Team Australia removed you? I have resigned, I have resigned, can you hear me? I have resigned. No, no, Mr. Mickey Arthur, the whole of the world wants to know, why have you been removed by Team Australia? Arnab, for the last time, I have resigned. Mr. Mickey Arthur, don't change the topic. The world wants to know, why have you been removed from Team Australia? Arnab, you are relentless. Here's the answer. I asked the Australian team to appear for the CAT exam. Nobody took me seriously. Can you imagine that? What will be a cricketer if he is not appeared for a cat, you know. Partu Patel. See, see, they just can't realize the importance of it. Also, they are very poor at PowerPoint presentations. I wanted them to work on it. What was the PowerPoint that they used to use? Office 2007. No wonder Team Australia hasn't won a World Cup since 2007. Smart, smart point. So, Mr. Mickey Arthur, what next? Well, uh, to be frank, uh, it's I'm in a great phase right now. I've just had an offer from IIPM. I'll be there visiting faculty. I'll be teaching PowerPoint over there. So, you know, think beyond the IIMs. But that's not the concern. Mr. Mickey Arthur, I want to know, why has Team Australia removed you? Arnab, go home. Okay. <laughs> that was one crazy stuff there. <laughs> but I have something more crazier than this. More crazier than this? Yep. What's that? Shri Santh is getting married. Uh, wow, <laughs> that's nice. So Congratulations, buddy. 
Oh, well done. Good job. Srisan getting mad. I hope he should do a good job. <laughs> At least here, Srisan. Pitch it in the right area. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to know. Who, who, Bhavi Khan. Who's the girl? I, I really have no clue who the girl is. Okay. But I can think of the qualities that she might have which appealed Srisan. Which is? Which is, uh, you know, she should be good with numbers. Okay. And why is that? Well, she should be able to count the hard cash, man. <laughs> 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 and uh, the kind of songs that she may like. Uh, which is? Which is uh, Mere Khwabo Me Jo Aaye from DDLJ. Okay. Uh, Ye Jawani Firna Aaye, that's a Man Thang song. Okay. And Sawariya title song from the movie Sawariya. Wait, I know where this entire connection is going. It's all coming back to the top. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagined her in the towel sequence. <laughs> Bhabi, Bhabi with that, before we get a little uh, out of tal, <laughs> out of topic, we will end this vlog. Thank you for joining us. My name is Dakshin. I'm Dhananjay. And he's Iron Man. Bye-bye. So, uh, do, do follow us uh, on our uh, social handles. And we'll come back next week with uh, more fun with India, Sri Lanka, West Indies tour coming. We have a lot of interesting things in yeah. store for you guys. Do join us again. Till then, thank you. Signing off. <laughs>